Welcome to this review of simulation technology. In this video, we discuss how several different types of simulation technology are being applied to pediatric anesthesiology for the purposes of learning and practicing both basic and advanced skills. We will present examples of human patient simulators, task trainers, standardized patients, hybrid simulations, and virtual patients. Human patient simulators are mannequin-based simulators and vary greatly in size and features. Many models are capable of exhibiting vital signs and a wide variety of pathologies, including emesis, tongue swelling, pneumothorax, and variable heart sounds. Many of the simulators also allow extensive treatment interventions, such as intubation, intravenous and intraosseous cannulation, and even thoracocentesis. Incorporated with a real workplace backdrop, their realistic feedback features provide a high clinical authenticity, facilitating participants' suspension of disbelief. Task trainers are mannequins or models designed to allow participants to practice clinical skills and tasks such as intubation, line placement, and ultrasound techniques. Curriculum that use these types of training devices focus on skills training at varying levels of skill goals rather than on a situation. Standardized patients are actors who take on the role of patients or family members in order for learners to practice obtaining a history or physical exam. With the advent of the Objective Structured Clinical Exam, or OSCE, becoming prevalent in medical school and residency training, standardized patients have become more widely incorporated into simulation education. Hybrid simulation refers to a technique of combining any of the previously mentioned simulators into a single activity. In this scenario, we combine a human patient simulator as the baby or patient with a standardized patient as the parent. Virtual patients are two-dimensional avatars on the computer screen that serve to help learners maneuver through clinical situations or perform a history. In this example, from SimCode ACLS, learners interact with assistants to review the ACLS algorithm. Within the past decade, there has been rapid progress in simulation in healthcare training for the purposes of improving patient safety and quality of care. Advances in simulation education techniques and technology have led to a new paradigm in training and assessment and will continue to play an ever-expanding role in medical education. Thank you for joining us on this brief overview of simulation technologies.